So I'm going to get together with some friends and Susan says, Hey, can you help me with my legs? I said, sure. What's up? Well, my family doctors look at my legs and I have this pigmentation and it won't go away. I want to hand saw a vascular surgeon. Vascular surgeon didn't know what was going on with me. And he set me up for like a two hour procedure to figure out if there's anything wrong with any of my arteries. Susan's about 52. She pulls her pant leg up and within three seconds of looking at it, I said, so how long have you been on minocycline? And she goes, oh, since I was 18. Wait, how did you know I was on minocycline? This, this right here is a perfect example of minocycline induced hyperpigmentation. Minocycline is an oral antibiotic that is often prescribed for short term management of things like acne, sometimes even CARP, which is confluent and reticulated papillomatosis, which dermatologists often treat. Minocycline is not to be taken for extended periods of time. It has several side effects. Minocycline hyperpigmentation is one of them. The longer you are on minocycline and the higher the concentration or the higher your dose is, the higher the chance that you're going to develop hyperpigmentation. The minocycline hyperpigmentation in particular loves lower extremities, especially the shins. It loves the face, the sclera, the white of the eye. It loves the mouth. The inside of the mouth can turn blue and grayish. So if you're taking minocycline and you notice any sort of pigment issues, whether it's in your mouth, on your shins, or in your eyes, stop the medication immediately. This is pretty common knowledge nowadays, but if you're somebody who's prescribing minocycline, you're somebody who's on minocycline, ever been on minocycline, you need to be aware of this. If you already have this, there is a possibility that it will go away if you stop your medication. 